Welcome to Monday's Market Outlook here at Wealth Creation Investing. My name is Matthew Buckley. I'm the Chief Investment Strategist. And kind of quiet day uh, today, folks. Columbus Day, the bond market's closed. Sitting a little bit of pressure to the downside, but not a ton of volume, and that's to be expected, especially as we've continued for the past couple weeks after QE3 Infinity and this and kind of this dead zone leading up to uh, Q3 earnings, which unofficially kick off tomorrow with Alcoa after the uh, reporting after the uh, close on Tuesday. Like I said, not too much going on in the way of economic reports uh, today. On Tuesday, nothing really uh, to speak about. Wednesday, though, it uh, might be a little bit interesting. We get the beige book. Uh, we, we get what the Fed was thinking about last month when they uh, went through their QE3 Infinity talk. So that'll be uh, interesting. Thursday, obviously, we have uh, our weekly unemployment uh, claims and some uh, crude oil inventories. Crude oil uh, has been under pressure recently. It's it's found a little bit of a bottom here and some support. But folks, with a with a global slowdown, not only in the United States uh, but in China and Europe, obviously oil uh, is going to be under pressure. But uh, we think it's found a bottom here. And then Friday, some University of Michigan uh, consumer sentiment uh, that'll be pretty interesting, and also uh, PPI numbers as well. So not a huge week as far as economic reports. But it might be an uh, interesting week, first of all, like we talked about, Alcoa coming out with uh, with earnings, but uh, it, it really doesn't matter. Alcoa, uh, as, as Alcoa goes, the market doesn't go. Some folks said I'm, uh, I'm going to be interested to see this week, uh, Wednesday, Costco, and then a couple financials on Friday, Wells Fargo and J.P. Morgan. So Costco, good barometer of the economy. And uh, for folks who trade live with me, uh, they know I use a Costco barometer. Back uh, in you know 2008, to, uh, 2007, as people were you know loading 62-inch screen TVs into uh, cars uh, that were priced less than that TV, I, I knew there was a bubble coming. So I like using the Costco indicator of what's going on in the economy. Uh, you know, are, are people going in there for uh, chips and salsa and leaving paying 600 bucks, or are they back to just getting the chips and salsa and the uh, you know dollar twenty five or dollar seventy five hot dog, uh, whatever it is there in the um, in the lobby. So, like I said, not too much going on in the market. We're waiting for earnings. Earnings are probably going to be very very poor. But again, like we've talked about in many of uh, my live trading sessions, uh, you know if you can't hit the ball over the net. What's the market do? They run out and lower the net. So whether it's FedEx or, or some other companies came out and pre-warned uh, or, or said, hey, you know, uh, earnings are going to be uh, pretty nasty here. Well, guess what? Now we have to uh, take a look at a market that uh, is bad, bad, or is bad, really not uh, bad. And uh, it, it'll be interesting to see what happens here, especially with the uh, unemployment number that came out last week, which... Uh, it, <laughs> It just cracks me up. Uh, that that's the largest gain, one month gain in unemployment, uh, uh, or since what 29 years or, or something like that. A month before the election, folks. Seriously, and of course the media didn't report this, but two of the uh, two senior BLS Bureau of Labor Statistics uh, econom uh, economists are Obama uh, supporters and have donated to his campaign. Um, so the media's kind of buried this one. Could you imagine if it was George Bush uh, a month before his election, and all of a sudden, mysteriously, the unemployment rate went down three tenths of a percent to uh, you know what it was when he took office? I mean, seriously, folks, it, it's 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 laughable uh, that the media's uh, completely uh, ignored it. But uh, you know. Here we are. Uh, in a couple minutes here, I'm going to be uh, sending out a trade alert to uh, some of my Top Gun Options uh, subscribers on SDS, Sierra Delta Sierra. Kind of like VXX, the v, uh, uh, the uh, Barclays, uh, you know, derivative of derivative of the VIX. Uh, uh, VXX, SDS have recently uh, done reverse splits. So, you know, this was trading 14 bucks, 13 bucks, whatever it was last week. And now it's up here in the 50s, magically. I love reverse splits because they make no sense. But anyway... I'm going to be uh, selling a uh, bull put spread out into January and also buying a bull call spread. So it's going to be a double vertical because we are going to get very bullish on the fact that the S&P is going to go down. Uh, what really amazed me the most about the debate uh, last week was not the, the empty chair that uh, Romney talked to, but the actual lack. Uh, nobody once, neither of those two gentlemen once mentioned the fiscal cliff they danced around closing loopholes maybe it, it, it was high on platitudes folks but we are facing the fiscal cliff of financial armageddon on january 1st and neither of those two gentlemen mentioned it 
It's going to happen, folks. I, I mean, even if they, you know, uh, throw a Band-Aid on it and, and extend the Bush tax cuts, it doesn't matter. There's about 60, uh, uh, nearly all, uh, a trillion in, in tax, uh, I'm sorry, budget cuts that are going to take place immediately. Uh, def- the majority of them being defense cuts, obviously, and we're going to have nothing uh, to do about that. So, I want to give you a heads up that later in the week we're actually going to be uh, conducting. I'm going to be doing a, a, a live trading webinar. Uh, you, you can just go to wealthcreationinvesting.com/wci. Dash presents dash TGO, and I'm going to do a uh, and just sign up for. Uh, it's going to be uh, this week on Friday. I'm going to do uh, two of them, uh, 9 a.m which is going to be obviously before the open and then at uh, noon as well. I'm going to throw out a, a couple of potential actionable trades. I'm going to add to our primary model portfolio, which is up nearly 200% year to date. So uh, come join us. Take some time to uh, take a look at what my strategic view is of the market and where we're going uh, from China to Europe to a potential war between Syria and Turkey. Obviously, folks, Turkey is a NATO member. They've been uh, taking some shells from Syria and an attack on a NATO uh, fellow uh, NATO member is an attack on NATO itself. So technically, the United States uh, was attacked as well, but uh, you won't see that in the media either. So there's a lot going on in the world that's going to impact our markets. And then there's a lot going on in our markets that we have to talk about as well. So, uh, and, and we have a lot of hedges in our model portfolio, whether it's on volatility, oil, uh, precious metals, uh, such as gold. We have, if, if the world ended tomorrow in our model portfolio, uh, we'd be fine. If uh, the second coming happened tomorrow, we'd also be fine. So that that's really what you want to do, is potentially make money consistently in a market uh, like this. And and if you're mar- on a day like today, when the SPX is down about 6 and the Dow's down 40, this is what your portfolio should look like. You should have some greens, some reds, some light greens, uh, and some pinks. And if you're all red today or all green, you're doing something wrong. So make sure you stop by uh, and register for that event. Join me uh, on Friday, and we're going to do some live trading, and you're going to take a look at uh, you know two potential actionable trades. You could add to your paper trading account, and you can open a free paper trading uh, account in order to prepare for our event at trademonster.com slash TGO, because I'm going to use a lot of the uh, the tools on the Trade Monster platform in our live trading session. Okay, got to get out of Trade Alert to my uh, Top Gun Options subscribers on SDS. Like I said, it's going to be a, uh, a bullish double vertical on the S&P going down, right? It's the ProShares Ultra Short SDS. Okay, folks, got to run, got to trade. Happy hunting. Make sure you hedge, and I'll see you tomorrow uh, for a Top Gun Options sit rep.